you People often ask me what do you do To which I reply I rap To which they reply yeah but besides that To which I reply not much To which they reply with awkward coughs and such Until I feel compelled to elaborate This is not a hobby do it for my salary mate And been doing so for well over a decade See I get paid for putting pen to page Performing sets on stage And when selectors play my record Let's just say that at the end of the day That's how I collect my wage At which point they can never we say, damn, that's how your expenses are paid? Yes, that's what I'm attempting to say. Well, that's great getting to do what you love every day. And yes, it may seem like I'm living a dream, but hey, there's much more to it when you go behind the scenes. Well, and I was putting on my board shorts this morning, being like, man, it's so awesome to put on board shorts. You know what I mean? I just don't know many jobs where you can just go to work on Friday in board shorts. So I just want to tell all of my UF graduating seniors to not get stuck in a job that you hate. We go through life being told that we have to go to school and we have to go to college and we graduate from college, we're gonna work for some corporation and I realized that I was going to be an entrepreneur, I was gonna be a business owner and I wanted to be the ruler of my life. I did not want to be stuck in a cubicle. And I just don't want you guys to be stuck in a cubicle hating your life because you only have one life to live, at least on Earth. I guess that's it. What's <laughs> you going know? on today? What's going on today? Oh, just meetings. I have a meeting at 11. Just operating, man. Just get, getting these storage scooters in here and getting the people out to enjoy their summer. I love seeing the people come in during this time of the year because they just look so relieved. <laughs> you know, there's just no stress. They come in and they're just like, ah, oh, I need to store my scooter. <laughs> so let's get to it. It'll be a fun day. Dude, I've been pumped about, I don't know, I think it's just because end of the semester I have like all these things that have been going through my head for like for graduates, you know? Remember yesterday when we were sitting with, um, Austin and Howard. Oh yeah. And we were like, dude, you have to buy your domain name. Yeah. So yesterday was kind of cool because I mean, you were editing, but we didn't, so we didn't film, but, but it was a, it was still a kind of, kind of an adventurous day because <laughs> I had a chamber board of directors meeting and then I ended up going on a field trip with my son. So to the butterfly rainforest, that was cool. I spent a few hours there. Then I went, then we came back here and apparently it was bring your kid to work day. <laughs> I had no idea, but I ended up bringing my kid to work, so Schaefer spent some time here. But uh, during a meeting with our interns yesterday, talking about buymyscooter.com and Gainesville Golf Carts, a couple of the brands that we're building out, I don't, I don't even know what brought it on really, but I was like, you guys, I was like, do you own your domain? Like, do you own austinchadwick.com? And the answer was no. <laughs> so I told him like, you need to go buy, I was like, you need to go buy your domain name. Any of you guys that are graduating or, I mean, or in college, I mean, buy your domain name. I look at domains as online real estate. Like these things have value and employers, at least if it's an employer like me, I really, I'll, I mean, I'll look at resumes, but I don't really like look at resumes. I like to look up the person's social media profiles. I like to look at their domain name because usually their domain, if they've created colinaustin.com, it's gonna have a bio of them. It's gonna have links to their social media. Like it's my website, like your website, you should create a website on your domain, colinaustin.com and have a portfolio of your work. That's your resume and that's the future of resumes, especially with younger employers like myself. But there's much older employers out there and I know that they're like standard resumes and they go through it. But you guys have to stand out. Have to stand out. Like the suit and tie and resume is just not the way we do business anymore. I mean, if somebody actually handed me a resume and it was just their domain on a piece of paper, like I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna go check it out, <laughs> you know? So maybe that's just me. You obviously have to know your audience and know the CEO or know the business owner or the whoever's leading the hiring process at whatever business you're you know, looking to get a job with. Um, so you have to know that audience and know what they'll be looking for. If somebody came to me in a suit and tie and a resume, I'm just like. In fact, I actually read an application last night where a guy had said in his application um, I will come. To, I will come to my interview dressed up because I have a tattoo sleeve. 
and my tattoo sleeve will be covered up. And I, like on the application, have told, I wrote a note and I said, tell this guy to come with his tattoo sleeve exposed. I want him to come who, like be who he is. I don't want to change who he is. I don't want him to come into an interview with me being somebody completely different. I understand that I'm not the corporate CEO, but, uh, and, that, and that might be necessary for somebody else, but for me and for younger employers and for those of you like working for startups and, you know, be yourself and, but make yourself stand out. Do something that's gonna make this person be like, wow, I wanna hire that person. What's up, man? Hey, Computer right now? Uh, computer? No. Just sit down somewhere. Wait. Now don't get me wrong, I know for a lot of people I'm living the dream Collecting green from spitting 16s with no 9 to 5 and no cubicle Just rhyming live in the studio I don't take it for granted, I understand that it's a blessing that my music allows me to travel the planet But like most things, there's another side most won't witness For example, show business And my experience is more business than show So instead of ripping flows, I'm sitting composed What? I'm gonna be a dad what? Yeah. Congrats. I just found out 15 minutes ago. He gets administrative details. Necessary, but very derailing. The most attempts of writing raps. This is behind the scenes of my life, and I'm inviting you back. We're going to take an in depth look at the recording industry. Well, rhymes and beats is the life I lead, which I know might seem all nice and sweet, but take the time to peek at what's behind the scenes. You might agree there's more to it than what the eye can see. And what I mean is when the lights and screams subside, well, geez, there's deadlines to me. Lawyers with high fees, late nights without sleep. Sign up for these, I never did when I decided to MC. This originally came up from the influence of good friends of ours at Groove Shark, right? Because I think they used to do this. Beer cart Friday. I don't know, did they do it every Friday? Mm -hmm. They did do it every Friday? Mm -hmm. So I mean, we started doing it every Friday as well, just kind of roll down the week. And we don't, now we don't do it every single Friday. We kind of just pick the Fridays where you like, everybody's kind of feeling good. And we definitely do it on more celebratory days. If we ever had like a really good week or something like that, we'll always end it with the beer cart Friday. But we just load up the beer cart. Our friends at Anheuser-Busch here in Gainesville actually hooked us up with this legit beer cart. And uh, so we fill it up. So guys, today is the last business day of April for us. I mean, we are working tomorrow, which is Saturday, but this is the day that we do inventory. The last, last weekday business day of the month. And we're just getting ready. It was a great week. Got a lot of storage in. Did you see what the number was out there? I didn't know what it was. It's 100 something. It's a lot. And um, we're expecting more storage next week. Obviously, graduation's tomorrow. So again, congratulations to all the graduates. And um, I'm gonna be looking forward to getting into May because May just kicks off the summer. We start rolling with the summer, get ready for summer B when the first group of freshmen come in. And you know, then it's time for August. So we got a lot to do to get ready for the summer and for the fall semester. It's gonna be here so fast. I am so excited. So we'll see you guys later. Have a good weekend.